Today we are going to talk about hydration. So I am at jadebolden.com forward slash hydration. Okay, and here is my post on hydration. Um, and it's just a little, uh, I guess, summary of what I'm going to tell you today. Okay, so hydration is a very, very important topic. It's very simple and basic, but sometimes we forget and uh, we do a lot of uh, damage to our body if we don't um, remember that. So one of the quickest ways and most effective ways to stay healthy is to stay hydrated. Now, this is especially important when you are trying to make some big health changes to your body, such as embarking on a 30-day cleanse or a detoxification, a detoxifying program somehow. Okay, so I want you to remember that the cells um, of your body, it actually does two things with toxins. Your body does two things with toxins. It eliminates or it isolates. So of course we eliminate through fecal matter, through urine, through sweat, and it isolates at times um, when it doesn't, it can't eliminate properly, uh, when our organs are all full of junk, when um, our feelings and emotions are very stubborn and we hold on to things, so our cells hold on to things for us, okay? as um, as it does when whatever we believe our cells will, will be obedient okay so these toxins are stored in our fat cells and inside these cells it just holds on to these toxins for dear life it holds on to it very tightly and so when we do essential oils and herbs and things it releases the toxins out of the cells and then it starts to float around in our bodies okay and water flushes it out um, so it's very, very important to drink water throughout the day to flush things out. Um, and it's very important uh, to help the, with your mindset too. The mindset is about letting things flow, letting things go, letting things just um, move along, okay, motion. So if we hold on to fears, to um, distrust, to all of these negative emotions, you know, we're just going to have internal conflict and we're gonna feel unwell, and you're going to have you know, this discomfort inside. But if you say, hey, let's rock and roll, we're going, we're going to fix this, I'm not gonna be sick anymore, I'm ready to change, I promise you, this is going to be smooth sailing. Okay, but if you experience some sort of difficulties because we, we're not sure because we're making these huge changes, ooh, uh, you know, so it, it's, it's absolutely safe. So just tell yourself it's okay, it's safe, and then things will happen you know, quite effortlessly when you surrender and stop resisting. Okay, so people tell me all the time, hey Jade, I'm not a water drinker, all right? You know what, that worries me. You know, if you're not, then, then let's change it. You can add some lemon oil to your water, you can add some wild orange, whatever, citrus oils to make it t change the, the, the taste, make it feel better, taste better, and then you can, um, you know, drink water, but you need to drink water, so no more soda, or pop, however you call it, um, you know, just water, okay? The more water, the better, all right? So if you have, um, say, a little bit of essential oils in your water and you say, ooh, I have this heavy metal taste in my mouth, um, it's not because of the oils, okay? And it may not be because of the water. It's because your body says, hey, my cells can start releasing these toxins now. And you're tasting and feeling those toxins. So don't freak out. It's just your body doing the right thing. Right? But you need to allow it to flow by adding water to it and letting it flush out. Use the water to flush out, okay? So like I said, the cells hold on to these toxins for dear life. And as soon as you introduce essential oils, it goes in there and says, hey, let's open up and release all those toxins. And of course, you're going to feel uncomfortable at first, okay? Some sort of, every change is uncomfortable until you, um, you know, get over that learning curve. You know, for anything that you learn, for anything that's new, okay, this is the same thing. Okay, so um, our body is most made up of mostly water, and you know that. Okay, so we actually reduce a lot of health problems and its symptoms simply by hydrating our bodies more. Okay, so children's behavior um, is better when they drink water. That's that simple. So sometimes we stress out and we overthink and we think that, you know, it's out there, it's complicated, but it really isn't. Okay, just allow them to drink more water. 
Um, and so here are some quick facts for you. Um, half of our body weight is water, so we need to change it out, okay? And we lose a lot of uh, water through urine, sweat, and breathing. Um, uh, our body needs water to maintain its temperature, okay? So if you have lots of temperature problems, let's drink more water and see how that works. Uh, to lubricate the joints and to improve function, brain functions. Okay, we, our brain actually does a nice flush and clean at night time when we sleep. And that's an, another topic about sleep and, and cleansing, but you know, it actually shrinks and you know, flushes this liquid through all of the different crevices and it cleanses things out. So it does a physical cleanse as well as reorganizing thoughts. So water is a very important. And in between your spine, there's little sacs. Um, and you, you know, you hear about people saying that you're taller um, in the morning than you are at night because that sac is filled with water as you sleep at night. Okay, and when you're walking around throughout the day, you lose water, and then because of gravity, you know that the sacs between your spine is, um, you know, squished and it gets smaller. So this is another reason why we drink water throughout the day. And sometimes when people are so dehydrated, their body's um, thirst mechanism turns off. So um, people don't feel thirsty ever. Uh, so as soon as you can start drinking water, drinking oils in water, then your body will start to send those messages and signals again, okay? It reactivates that ability to feel thirsty, okay? And that's important that your body um, communicates with you that way. Um, okay, so of course vomiting and diarrhea can also lead to rapid water loss in your body. If you add one drop of lemon oil and one drop of peppermint oil into your water, your body's more able to absorb the water. And some people, they play sports and they have a lot of cramps when they play sports. Well, um, drinking water alone may not be um, that helpful and they might still experience cramping. But if you add one drop of lemon and one drop of peppermint oil in there, you know, it does magic somehow. It just lets the water absorb into your cells a little bit better. It's interesting. Makes it more uh, relaxed, I guess. Makes your cells more relaxed and, um, and you know, it's, it's a wonderful. Try that out. Now, um, signs of dehydration. So you know that when people's lips are dry and peeling and flaking, um, that's dehydration. And sometimes you say, oh, but I drink a lot of water. Maybe it's about absorption. So again, you know, put a drop of lemon and drop a peppermint in water and you might be able to absorb that water better. Or the water that you're drinking is very highly processed. It could be that, okay? But dark, smelly urine, that's a sign. So if you start detoxing and you're drinking lots of water and you still find that your urine stinks, then keep drinking until your urine is nice and clear, okay? Uh, dry mouth, fatigue, headaches, okay? confusion, dizziness, lightheadedness. You know, sometimes just drinking a bunch of water will help with that. Okay, so um, just keep your water bottle filled and just keep drinking. I've got this glass water bottle. I've got several at home for my children and um, that's what we do. We drink water um, after our meals and um, you know throughout the day and that helps replenish the water that you um, are losing, especially if you're you know, working in an office where there's uh, the ACs on and um, you, know, you've, you get dry. Okay. Um, so the urine, just remember that your body is going to tell you um, what's happening. So, you know, be observant and look at your um, body functions and uh, it'll tell you how well you're doing. Okay, so my, and your goal is to have, <coughs> excuse me, your goal is to have clear, um, light color urine. Okay, that doesn't smell. Um, so if it does, keep peeing until it stops smelling bad okay because your body's just cleaning out the house okay don't freak out uh, so the best thing is to sip uh, filtered water throughout the day and you know what coconut water if it's organic okay don't buy the sugar down one it's organic um, is you know water down a little bit add some oils to it like again lemon oil or lime or whatever um, it's very hydrating it's a natural um, uh, um, liquid that a lot of people use to help hydrate their body okay 
So um, I put a little uh, handout here that you can, a quick fax, you can download um, and you can print out and um, share with people as you teach people how to heal and how to um, get their health back in check. Okay, so that is it for hydration. Um, it's not, uh, you know, anything, um, you know, secret or anything that we forget. So it's good to remind um, ourselves. You're welcome to put a comment on the bottom of my post here. Of course, more testimonials, more people are helped because it gives them confidence. So really grateful for your time and um, for spending this little moment with me as I share with you about hydration. So take care and I'll see you next time.